my back. Rubber Reese, hot, hot. Hot facts with Rubber Reese here, people. We got a great one. Now, just imagine you are a delivery driver, and we know that we can get deactivated for any reason out there whatsoever. Imagine getting brake checked with the car behind you to stop you and one in front to go ram right in front of you while you were on delivery. I want to use this video to show you guys what people can do. Now there's insurance involved in everything. This is why you need ride share insurance and everything else going on to help you. But people just imagine if this happened to you, you're on a delivery, you're driving, and then they plan this on you. The best thing about this is what we'll talk about in just a bit. What if someone's renting your account so that they can drive and they are an illegal driver and this happens? You are in dog shit, people, dog shit. You will get deactivated. You may not be able to get on any other platform, but watch this story right here. And just imagine if you were on the job doing this and all of your income suddenly stopped. Now that's not the case here. They did this to regular people. So imagine if this happened to you in just in general. Let's go ahead and watch this. Then we'll break down the rest in just a little bit. You're watching Hot Facts, people. All over the internet, a car on the Belt Parkway suddenly stops. The driver then backs into the car behind it in an apparent case of insurance fraud. And as you can see, the entire incident caught on dash cam video. And thankfully so for the victim in this case and for the investigators who had to track down the culprits in that crashing car. Tonight, one of the occupants in that car is in some serious trouble. Seven on your side's Nina Pineda, live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, with the latest on the charges that have been handed down. Nina? And Sandra and Bill, do you know what this victim was doing when she was just became the innocent bystander of this web of lies? She was driving to Hobby Lobby. And luckily, the entire scam was caught on her dash cam. And now the Queen DA has one message for people who target people like her constituent. And a Brooklyn man, she says, did it. She has one message. We will hunt you down. I'm just really happy that he was arrested. Ashpia Natasha expressed relief there's been an arrest after her dash cam video of getting reversed into went viral. Oh my God, what is he doing? This is an extremely bold crime, right? You stop on the Belt Parkway, one of the busiest parkways in the city of New York, if not the country. At some point, you have to wonder how many people could get hurt in this particular type of, of scam. One of the four suspects who emerged from the car was taken into custody, arriving in New York on a flight from Ecuador. The Queens DA says Michael Martinez, a 28-year-old man from Diker Heights, seen here in the black cap and glasses, spotting the dash cam and then walking away, conspired with the other occupants of the Honda to stage the October 16th accident on the Belt Parkway. Defendants in general who scam, their main objective is to separate you from your money. The Queens DA says Martinez is facing five charges, reckless endangerment, insurance fraud, conspiracy, criminal mischief, and staging a motor vehicle accident. He pled not guilty and was released. No one answered the door at his Brooklyn address this afternoon, nearby where the car was ditched and vandalized before being impounded by the NYPD. The DA's office is asking for the public's help identifying the other people seen in the video. Two women who immediately began holding their heads and snapping pictures, and one man who exits the car and then jumps into this red Kia, which was traveling behind the victim when she was cut off and backed into. Sudden, you have four people in this particular case getting out of their car, looking like they're injured, looking like they have pain, uh, and saying it's your fault, right? Um, and so we need those uh, folks who believe that they might have fallen victim to either these individuals or other people doing the same scam to come forward. It would be really helpful if we were able to get their stories and, you know, uh, get their voice out there so that we can, you know, get as many people that were involved in this, uh, put them all in jail. If the suspect is convicted, he could spend up to seven years in prison. He is back in court on January 7th to these charges that he pled not guilty to. And even if you don't have that dash cam video, the DA's office wants to hear from you because 
If you were the victim of this type of accident staging, you probably exchanged information, like a license or registration. So they want to hear from you. We put two numbers on our website at ABC7NY. Uh, first for the Queens DA's office, their fraud helpline, and then for the NYPD. Please call and make a complaint. Give them your information if you think you were victimized in this way. We are live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I'm Nina Pineda, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. You All right, now you saw everything that went down there. You saw the charges, the everything. The victims were going to Hobby Lobby to pick up some things, right? But check this out. I told you guys that what if you're a delivery driver and that happened to you, you can get deactivated. But now look at this. We have a huge problem with immigrants who are renting out accounts and they're renting out accounts. They don't have no documents, no anything. And then that happens. Now check this out. The people that were involved in setting it up were immigrants. Now, imagine there's an immigrant driver renting out an account. Everyone could get deported. Everyone, everyone. But just imagine this, just imagine this. The account that is being used to do the delivery, someone else says, hey, I wanna make money on the side and they let you use their account. Now there's a car accident. The car on file is the person that rented out the account and this person is using their own vehicle. This vehicle, you don't know if it has insurance or not. You know who's in charge and responsible? The guy who rented out the account. But now check this out. You have immigrants involved in this case. Immigrants. I'm not saying they're illegal. Don't take my words there. I'm not saying that. But what if they were? We have a huge problem in the gig community with people using the apps, the Walmart Sparks, the Amazon Flexes, the everything, and they're not even the real people that are supposed to be driving on the apps. Now, we got people out there trying to make a buck, set you up brake checking you and backing into you just imagine that let's say you're not renting out an account and it's and it's your account let's say you're driving and then they deactivate you because they say you were in a car accident they put that thing through um checker checker says you cannot drive now you get deactivated from all of your apps now here's the terrible thing about it when you get deactivated, they, they don't ask no questions and it's hard for you to get back on the road. That's when you contact the ride chair professor. He will fight for you and try to get you back. Contact him, ask Torsten, ride chair professor. You gotta contact someone like that. But that process of getting back on the road is gonna be a long time. Will they even activate you back? Chances are no, because they wanna just get people to go pick up orders that no one wants to go ahead and pick up. And most of the people that do that are immigrants. Sad to say, unless you really know what you're doing and you sold up your area to where you are making that money. But you gotta watch out. I tell people all the time, don't tailgate, don't drive fast. These cars are out there doing these things. You don't wanna be up on the car because what they did was they had a car come from the back to make sure you can't even stop right. And then they kept backing up into you and then they spot the cars, that car is driving fast. Let's do a brake check on them. Then they got out the car and said, oh, my neck and everything hurts. The guy got out the car and saw that there was a cam. How I have a camera right here. I know some of you guys say, I don't want to put a camera in my car. I don't want that. That camera is going to come in handy because when it comes time for you to get reactivated on your account, they're going to look at that and see that you had nothing to do with that. I like doing ride-alongs and I like showing scenery when I'm doing my videos. The cameras help, they will save you. Don't say I don't want that, the cops say I can't have it up there because it can be a ticket. Yes, it can, but most police officers don't care because they know that you're filming something and it could help them out with their investigation. That video there is gonna help them out with the investigation, the people going to Hobby Lobby. But now you gotta also look at this. The guy that came out the car instantly looked at the camera then went back to go talk to them like oh shit they got a camera there we got to go ahead and leave and do all this stuff normally what they do is they try to get cash out of you so you can still drive because your insurance will pick it up so they try to extort you 
if that camera was not there, they probably would have got hundreds of dollars from that person there. License plate and everything is visualized right there. That guy was charged with everything, but my thing was they said one person is really in trouble and that's the driver there. Now there was a passenger gentleman that got out and hopped in the car behind him. But my thing is, why is only one person responsible when they all were trying to get paid for fake injuries? Now imagine you're a delivery driver, you have an accident, and now all the people in the car, your insurance says it covers this much, now your insurance is pretty much going all that and you're gonna be fighting through all the loop and all these people have medical injuries. Because of all that, you will not be a delivery driver making your 40, 50 bucks an hour ever again. And they took away an income from you because you chose to say, hey, I don't wanna work at a W2 and slave like that. If I'm gonna slave, I might as well make 50 bucks an hour easy. But now they took away all of your income. People, when you're out there, please drive safe. Don't tailgate and make sure you're watching cars going in and out, watch cars behind you, look in your rear view mirror, look in your side mirrors and peep what's going on. Don't be in a hurry because they're looking for you in that scurry to get you involved in that. Now let's say you ain't got no money. Let's say your insurance laps and all that stuff and you're saying I'm doing my job and you just go. Well now you just effed up. Now we had uh, a delivery drop driver ride chair hustler he was in a rental car and i did a video um, about his accident i'm gonna go ahead and put it up there he's in a rental car and they did that to him and he had to try to hide everything because all the fees and everything because he was in another state imagine you're in a re rental car you don't even own the car and he had to try to go get the detail done and get it fixed in shops before he turned it back what if you're in a rental car and they do that to you they're looking for you on how you drive so they can get paid. Make sure you don't end up like these people. And if you're a delivery driver, you are on the road. They say, well, this ain't about a delivery driver. Well, we are transforming this content into fair use because when you're a delivery driver, we see this stuff happen all the time. And it happens to us. You don't want to end up like this. Ask the right share hustler on how much money he had to spend. And he had rideshare insurance that was for another vehicle, not the vehicle that he was renting. Now imagine that also, the headaches that you're gonna be going through, all because they're watching you to see what you do, erratic on the road, to stop you and make you crash. Then they leave off and scurry after they get your cash. He's been up to since he arrived in New York City. He told cops he worked for DoorDash and received the gun he used to shoot the officers from a friend. Last night I was coming home from work. I was in a car with my friend and my friend, Jose Maita, gave me a bag with a gun in it and asked me to keep it for him. The suspect confessing to police that he's a member of the notorious Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua. According to audio recordings read by prosecutors, Mata claims he was recruited by a cousin to join the gang to do robberies. But the most shocking claim, the gang has been smuggling guns into city-run shelters. Tren de Aragua members were smuggling firearms into city shelters inside food delivery packages. That way they'll have to go through the metal detector. Drive safe. Don't rent out your account because you never know. The people you rent your account out to could be doing this job because they're not even, it's not registered to you. They're doing things and if you are renting out an account and you're renting out the vehicle, giving them the vehicle, they're gonna go out and do anything they can to get paid. And you're in trouble. This has been a great one. Well, Hot Facts with Robert Reese, people. Drive safe and look out. You can get God. Come and get them hot facts, hot facts. Yeah.